Well, hello and welcome everyone, TGIF, that means thank God it's Friday. It's uh, John Armas, as known as Ace Bullion here, uh, bringing you another coin that I'm sure will grab your attention. Uh, it's been sent in by Martin the Silver Trader for me to cast my eyes on and give you my honest opinion and review. So if you like what you see, check out the links down below this video. We can find a link to the silvertrader.uk, the precious metal form, and of course, my own personal website, acebullion.com or .co.uk. Now, with that being said, let's have a look at today's Kookaburra video. And uh, let me walk you through a lot of uh, some interesting facts. And of course, share with you the lovely coin. So, here we go. Well, here we are. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I hope that uh, you hit that subscribe button and uh, ring the bell so that you don't miss any further episodes. Uh, if you're returning, thank you very much. Again, smash that like button and leave a comment after the video. So, what is it that we have? Well, we have the 2024 Kookaburra. It's the 35th design by the Perth Mint, which, well, has started all the way back in 1990, was when the first Kookaburra um, silver coin came out. These have a mintage of 500,000. Yep, that's right, 500,000. Well, it kind of goes to show you how much love and, uh, you know, these coins really have amongst the community uh, and how many people really do collect them. It's a fair whack. So, let's have a look here at uh, the king side and uh, let's go through some details uh, the last one in 23 had Queen Elizabeth which was the last portrait and this one of course now has King Charles I thought it was a bit odd I had to double check on my video to make sure but uh, yeah I featured the 10 ounce around December time of the previous kookaburra or kookaburras shall I say because there was two of them on that and it was a rather stunning coin. So this is King Charles here. Uh, so King Charles III, Australian, $1. Of course, the 10 ounce has a denomination of $10. And, well, it's kind of what you would expect. It's, yeah, it's just King Charles. I mean, nothing special there at all. So, as I would say, this is the side I would be putting face down and not giving a hoot about uh it, it it just doesn't have the grand allure that when we had the queen of course she always wore a crown this is just a yeah there's just a man as far as i'm concerned when i take a look at it i i just don't see the royalty really shining through i of course love to see a crown but no, no, no you're not gonna see that really apart from those special edition ones. It does have a reeded edge going all the way along the side of it. And there we go. We're going to start off. There it is, the Kookaburra. And this has some really interesting features. First off, let's have a look up top right here, uh, which is about the 10 o'clock position. And it says 2024, one ounce, four nines fine silver. And then we also have down here at the uh, four o'clock position, P125, which is the 125th anniversary for the Perth Mint. So congratulations again, Perth Mint. Really, really pleased that you are, you know, still at it and still going. Now we have the Kookaburra flying over a gorge, holding on to a small snake. And I do mean small, because I've actually had, <laughs> when I was looking at, Kookaburras and snakes. I actually didn't realize that these guys are vicious. I mean, I, I I was watching a few videos before, of course, you know, writing up all of my details, which, you know, I have written down and all sorts of stuff uh, next to me. But these guys can take on some massive snakes. And, uh, yeah, I can see why the Australians love the kooks. Um, because... They are, well, they're doing a pest control job. And, you know, it's superb. 
Um, what really surprises me is that once they uh, they grab the snake, if they you know get a hold of it, um, they bash it to death, and then they'll just eat the snake whole. It's like, whoa, really? It is crazy. And these snakes, uh, some of them that I've seen, have been at least a meter long. I'm thinking, dang, the cucumber is like tiny compared to these things. Wow. So it's, it, you'll find a lot of videos uh, on YouTube, of course, um, showcasing and sharing just nature at its best. And you'll be amazed if, you know, that kind of, you know, is your thing, I guess. Anyway, so this cucumber is flying over a gorge. It could be flying over really anything uh, because you'll find these cucumbers in, you know, your garden. If you live in Australia, of course, uh, you'll find them everywhere. Uh, they'll happily grab a snake, bash it against a park bench until it's dead. Um, and yeah, then take it up to a tree and eat it or just eat it there. <laughs> it doesn't phase these guys. So what about the actual design on it? Well, let's have a look a bit closer. Yep, that looks just like the video, <laughs> or at least one of them that I've seen. Beautiful. Oh, wow, I need to really zoom in more on this one. Wowzers, look at these feathers. And let me try to hold this and stabilize it a bit closer. You can actually see every little bit on the feathers. And that's something that's amazing. And the perthmint haven't skimped out on the snake either. So I find that really interesting as well. You can see the cucumber is holding on with its uh, talons there. Really superb. Uh, not quite sure why the snake is still alive at this point. Um, unless, of course, it's ready to get its head bashed in. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So what I've seen is that they really go after a lot uh, of tree snakes, really. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, you know, if they go after others, but uh, I, I'll have to actually have a look a little bit more, but uh, I'm pretty sure that a, a tree snake is one of their staples from what I've seen in all of my videos that I've watched so far of this. The cucumber itself, very determined in flight. You can see that there. And uh, just waiting, of course, to finish off and have that meal. Uh, we have the large cucumber letters right there. And overall, uh, I like it. I have to say, I actually like this. Um, <laughs> it... it it has a little bit of funniness to me when I look at it because, of course, I'm used to seeing uh, the only bird holding on to, of course, the snake would be the bald eagle. And as an American who now lives in the UK, just for your records, um, is, you know, just like, okay, right, yeah, you get the bald eagle, you get a snake, great. Um, but then, of course, you look at this and this is a, a chubby bird. <laughs> you know, part of the Kingfisher family, and it's just, yeah, it's holding on to this. It's, it's dinner, it's lunch, it's breakfast, whatever, but it's food. Anyway, what do you guys think of this? I like it a lot. I like the fact that they've highlighted, as you can see there from the gloss, the wings themselves. They've also put a little bit of gloss into the snake and the gorge to kind of break up the matted background, uh, which is really, really good. I don't mind a matted background as long as there's enough of this kind of um, high glossy feature to highlight parts of whatever subject matter is going on. So what do I think? Well, I think the Perthmint have done a superb job. I think that, you know, for what they're selling for, um, it's absolutely reasonable, you know, and I think that it is up to you guys to tell me if you're buying them or not, because I'm curious. That's all. I'm not telling you to buy them. I'm not telling you not to buy them. I just wanted to share and show you this. It's lovely. 
Anyway, have a great weekend wherever you may be. And uh, with that, I will see you on Monday. So bye for now.